Hello everyone, welcome back again to Spiritual Growth Tarot and Astrology. No astrology today though, uh, as you can see in the title. I want to check in and see uh, how it's going to go for Trump's media uh, company. I don't even want to say the name of it because it's just so lame. But uh, anyway, apparently the feds have an investigation into it because uh, there's been some uh, money going through coming from Russia. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so let me swap out cameras here and uh, bring you over my table. I'll be right back. Okay, so of course I'm using Chiro Marchetti's Kipper. And I tune in. So how is it going to go for Trump Media? Or is Untruth Social? <laughs> uh, now that the feds have... A, uh, opened their investigation into money laundering that's linked to Russia. Okay, right there. Okay, so here's the money. I might not need all these cards, but I'm going to try. Let's see if I get the full story here. Yeah, there's the 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 empire itself, their clannish behavior, there would be the money flowing in and more money. Wow. And de details coming through. Of course this is our karmic card and then here's Trump. Oh yeah. He's worried about it. Wow. Let me move these over. Sometimes the right side gets cut off. Okay, so now it should go more quickly. Why the heck is Melania here again? All right. Well, why am I asking silly questions? Of course she's tied to the whole nine yards. Probably the only reason they've been together. Whoa. He's up here with some control. Let's see. Let's, let's figure the rest of this out. Okay, so it's Untruth Social. Char, Trump Media Group. Even besides his platform. Okay. So, um, right in the center here, we have... Now, it could be Ivanka, but it could also just be the true meaning of this card, which has to do with uh, creating wealth, you know, in uh, having ways to create wealth, being very creative with ways to um, make money. And it knights to him up here. He is just tortured with worry and stress. That's just on his back. Can't get that monkey off of his back. It's his karma. This could be, besides Ivanka, it could be some other younger person who works for him. Uh, and it could be both. And it could be, like I said, just the way they've worked to create wealth. And the way they've worked to create wealth has been through... A Trump organization in any other clannish ways. I uh, because this is a person's or a company's assets, but it's also like the clan in their. Uh, this is him and his real estate, but it's also all the people that he's been connected to to funnel money money through. You know, such as uh, you 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 buy this at Trump Tower and you, you get to launder money basically. I'm from Russia and from any other country you want. He just wants the money going through because he needs ways to launder money, and so do they, and he's a vehicle for the laundering of the money. And it, This has been the creative way that, that it's happened through his assets. Probably one of the main reasons that he and his father were always busy building buildings even though they were, of course, considered slumlords in uh, New York and wouldn't rent to uh, anyone of African-American descent. I mean, can you believe that? 
yeah you can right okay and then also here we are with the tall buildings here and here we are with the money laundering community of which Melania is definitely part of and they're being watched so this is this is it being watched the company being watched the media company being watched surveillance watching massive amounts of income that have come through and they have the details this could be you know the wire transfers that have come through amassing great fortune I going in and out, in and out of the um, the structure of the money laundering, you know, the structure that was created for the money laundering. And now they're, they're like, whoa, whoa. And then we have, um, yeah, they're stressed out about it. And then we have a painful loss because there will be uh, the discovery brought forth and all the people, see how his card, he's up here on top and they see him as being the controlling factor but uh, see how his card knights down here to the marriage card, well partly this is Melania but on another level this is anyone that he's been bonded with this is the uh, you know the marriage partnership or the partnership of the way to make the money and these are very loyal people because they don't want the you know, the the means to launder money to dry up. It takes a lot to get that built, but that's what he has spent his whole life doing. Yeah, he's on that soul journey. And, and you can see right here, that's the direction he's been going, trying to create wealth. He's been being watched. He has been watched. And so is Melania. There's something going on there. Wow. And then this line here, you know, here he is on this journey and it leads down to, uh-oh, you know, this is a subpoena. This is asking for, uh, like, what's going on type of a thing. And it, all these cards in front of him, this is, you know, the details of what's come through and how the money, I mean, we have two, we have all four money cards in the deck here. Great fortune, gift, unexpected income, sudden wealth. And um, yeah, one, two, three, four, sudden wealth. Plus the success that's been, uh, the success that has come through because of being able to, I mean, if you just look at this, this would be the discovery of maybe they've been being watched Maybe he's been being, maybe he has been watched ever since he had his, um, you know, Atlantic, that, that casino in Atlantic City, was it the Taj Mahal or whatever. I know, I remember that it was in 2015 that he uh, got dinged with, um, you know, before it shut down or somewhere, I think it was 2015, could be wrong about that. But anyway, it, it's online. You can find it. I, I don't have the papers in here with me, but um, it was a uh, fine from FinCEN, F-I-N-C-E-N, which is an organization that keeps an eye on money laundering and, um, you know, basically RICO charges. Racketeering, uh, what is it? Racketeering something conspiracy organization. Oh no, racketeer, racketeering, racketeered influenced conspiracy organization. So they conspire to organize and they're influenced by a racket. <laughs> uh, be nice if you get a racket upside the head with this someday. But he's, so he's been fined in the past, or Trump Org has been fined in the past. His dad had bailed the casino out a number of times but of course we know why because it was just a way to to launder money and they didn't care about it uh, but it finally folded up because even see that this, <laughs> this is a good clue as to uh, how lousy he really is at business is that even though his father bailed him out and even though it was set up just for money laundering uh, he still failed at it and had to close the business up 
So there's that. Uh, but yeah, so money laundering here off the backs of people who can't make it on their own. Probably tons came through uh, Mar-a-Lago, you know, with all the people, with all the undocumented workers working there. I, but I don't have the cards to show that he's locked up, and I allowed, I mean, there are 21 cards here, but we do have charges being brought forth that creates a painful loss for him. So I would say that um, his media group, of which, you know, Devin Nunes uh, helps him run. He's like the top, you know, he's the CEO or whatever. It's like, what a joke. Uh, it's all going to end in a very painful way. Uh, or it'll be done. You know, they'll shut it down is what I'm getting here. But I don't know that that means anybody goes to prison over it. You would think it would, but I think they're going to get him in a different way. I, th I think Jack Smith is going to get him on um, uh, J6 charges, the insurrection charges, and um, I... Obstruction of justice, and uh, possibly for um, so many other things, because he he has his eyes on everything. But he's especially watching the J six, overseeing the J six trial, and then um, and it, they have that secret jury. They have a secret trial, sealed sealed documents or sealed um, subpoenas that went out to people. And remember, there's... Oh, wait, hold on. I have, I have the list. Uh, oh, my chicken scratch here. So uh, it was Judge Beryl Howell that has the, had the secret grand jury proceeding that's being held under seal. And uh, Jack Smith is on top of that, plus the J6 attack. And I... Yeah, and this is where they're pulling in Mark Meadows, Dan Scavino, Ken Cuccinelli... Some guy named Nick Luna and John McKenty. I don't know who that is. Also, Stephen Miller, <laughs> that little scumbag. John Ratcliffe, Mike Pence, and Ivanka and Jared. So, you know, Vajanki has been uh, subpoenaed. That could be why Ivanka's here. This could definitely could be Ivanka's card. And we know that, you know, Jared's totally been in, involved in money laundering and, and there's no executive privilege allowed for, for many of these people. So I think this is just a part of the whole, the whole big painful loss coming through for him. So it will, it will end in a painful way for him and everyone else who's been involved and bonded in a way in partnership with him. Okay, I think that's it. Let's see, is there anything, any other knighting or mirroring? Well, if I mirror these two cards here, this is um, this is a divorce with Ivanka eventually, or her just like, you know, we're done kind of thing. Well, it's locked up, yeah. I, I, I don't know that she'd be visiting him. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, the, so the wealth that he's created in the past is uh, completely lost, and he's in despair about that. Major stress and worry there. Changes within partnerships. Yeah, we've gotten that with the tarot so many times. Yeah. I think I'm just going to get this uploaded for you guys. I don't have anything else to say. But if you do, drop it in the comments. Always love to hear from you. Okay, take care. Bye.